The bill to make lynching a federal hate crime is headed to President Biden's desk. 12 News' Leah Williams reports on the bill that has been years in the making. Leah? Melanie, Congress had over 200 failed attempts at passing an anti-lynching bill, but now more than a century since the first one was introduced, the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act has passed in the House and the Senate. The Senate has passed legislation that would make lynching a federal hate crime. This comes one week after it passed in the House. For Jerry Mitchell, founder of the Mississippi Center for Investigative Reporting, it's been a long time coming. It's, it's a huge deal for the Senate and the House now both to, to pass this legislation for it to become a reality. The bill is named after Emmett Till, a black teenager who was beaten and killed here in Mississippi in 1955. It was sponsored by Illinois Representative Bobby Rush. Back in 2020, a similar bill was approved by the House, then blocked by the Senate. Mitchell says anti-lynching bills have historically been blocked by the Senate. The Senate was usually the holdup uh, for many, many years. Senator Eastland from Mississippi and other, a lot of other Southern senators who oppose the anti-lynching legislation. They want the federal authorities involved in, in uh, pursuing these cases. Mitchell says this bill will help make sure the hate crimes are prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. What was happening and happened for many, many years is the states weren't prosecuting. Either they didn't have the will to prosecute or is you know, it was essentially at all white, all male juries, for example, in Mississippi, and they wouldn't convict anybody. And perhaps the uh, state office, let's say uh, the prosecutor in a particular county, may or may not have the resources you know, to be able to investigate. The bill is a little broader than just lynching. It would make it possible to charge someone with lynching when conspiracy to commit a hate crime results in death or serious bodily injury. The maximum sentence under the Anti-Lynching Act is 30 years. President Joe Biden is expected to sign the bill into law. Melanie Byron, 